All right, end of day three. <laughs> Just a safety note, uh, in case anybody uh, had not been guessing, uh, most of our Tales of the Tin Cup. Tales of the Tin Cup. Is, involved drinking that is... Uh, there is uh, amount. It's been all day. It, it's, it is what it is. Anyway, um, so we started the day, as I said earlier in the last video, uh, we went white water rafting in the morning. Badass. Badass. Great time. Water was 50... Like 54 to 56 degrees. It was brisk. I ain't gonna lie. We were a little concerned we got this morning because it was like wind was blowing. I was like, I don't want to jump in the river, but it was pretty cool. Uh, great, great group of people over there at Mile to Wild. I think it's name it. Well, I don't even know. It's we kind of got mixed up on that, but you know, uh, Wild to Here's the deal. I think it was Mountain something. I, here's the deal. All of them, but this guy is based in Durango. If you can find that one out, it's Mountain uh, Boat Trips or something like that. Mountain guys, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, it's very so, cool though. Yeah. Anyways, uh, we did that. We went about four miles. Shout out to Hannah. Shout out to Hannah. She was our boat uh, guide. So. Yeah. <laughs> we did that. Um, I think we went four miles. Is what we did. Hit some rappers. Yep. We got some cool pictures. I guess they were taking pictures of us we weren't aware of. Uh, I will post them later on. Um, and then we, uh, yeah, then we took a bus ride over to Silverton. Silverton, man. Um, I hung out there for a couple hours. Silverton place. was awesome. Great town. Absolutely Picturesque, awesome. Picturesque. Beautiful. We stopped along the way. Took some pictures. We'll show that. And then um, and then loaded up and took a uh, what was it? Three hours at least, right? Three hour ride. Oh, ever, over three over hours. Over three hour yeah. train ride from Silverton back to Durango, which was the whole point of this place. The whole point was I, I, I want to cross the bucket list off, bucket list off on taking the train um but that being said uh there's trains to go round trip and i would not recommend them because that's a long ass train ride i think we hit it right I think no yeah i mean round trip's gonna one train you out for about eight to nine hours a day yeah one way so, was plenty and it got hot in the luckily afternoon. we only got the what was it about three three plus hours three plus yeah. hours that's what it was um so great day i mean just great day to be uh to be out doing this not uh, the so. not the not the ride that was absolutely gorgeous uh -huh. yeah, I, I, no we're not going to go ride no no, 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 it's been, so, yeah. no you're fine it's good uh, <clears throat> so i want to uh, address something else we were talking about uh budgie did for stuff did we do what we and and uh on budgeting stuff uh now durango is a expensive place to stay even oh, on wow. being it's like 70 bucks a night anywhere you go right now we're peak it's yeah peak it, season, it's crazy right? peak season uh normally i don't spend that much on our rear spot uh, i don't like to but when you're in a touristy thing you're doing that stuff that's just one of the things you're gonna do so um when i leave here which will be tomorrow because terry's got to go back on a load of my train uh, on a plane excuse me and then uh i'm train, gonna come back automobiles get my rv and then we're gonna take off somewhere else uh, i don't know where that's gonna be i don't know where i'm going uh, yet tomorrow but it'll be considerably less expensive wherever I'm going. So uh, that's kind of the thing. You go have fun, go spend a little bit more money. How you doing? And, uh, and then you just kind of do the balance on that. Anyways, Harvest Toast is another one. Harvest Toast Harvest and Boondockers. Uh, I paid, I think it was $178. I used to be a Harvest Toast person, meaning that when I had my winery, people could stay there for free if they're part of the membership. I paid like 178 bucks for the year. It was like this ultimate package and it was like 4,000 locations you can stay free throughout the United States. Uh, from Harvest House along with Boondockers Welcome, uh, there's public lands, there's BML lands, there's national forests, there's all kinds of other stuff. Some either cost you nothing and some could cost you 13 bucks a day or some crazy stuff like that. So you can budget this really kind of cool. If you decide you want to stay at high-end resorts like we're at right now, and uh spend that kind of money then it's going to cost you a bloody damn fortune okay so that's that's the deal there so uh on, on that but uh tomorrow's new adventures we'll find out what that is adventures for chris i have no idea what i'm going to do tomorrow new adventures for me and uh i'll let you know when i know uh now other thing i got asked uh if i should uh by somebody that or somebody told me excuse me uh that i should do a youtube channel uh that's cool i i can't tell you there's like 206 people who are on this uh site and i am overwhelmed i cannot believe that uh people give two shits about anything i have to say which is kind of cool 
So uh, he's kind of saying thank you. Thank you. Yes, thank you for, for following me along on this thing. Uh, however, uh, if it, you'd like to see me do a YouTube channel, which I will, I've contemplated it a little bit. Uh, what I like to see is that we have like 250 followers first. So keep sharing these videos Shit. with your friends. Get some more people. We're at 206. We're looking for 250. If we hit 250, I will do a YouTube channel. But thank you all very much for following this. Uh, I'm happy to have you with me. And uh, I hope we have a lot of fun together. If anybody like Terry wants to come on out, and join in the adventures let me know if you want to start a caravan i'm good with that get off your butts and go God. we got right? caravan thoughts we'll get oh. back to y'all on that we yeah. got some big huge caravans. caravan caravans. thoughts so yeah. just saying big plans for the future anyways uh until then thank you all for watching talk to y'all later out <laughs>